Welcome back to my channel everyone. In this video, we are going to see how to implement auto deleted OTP in React Native. In this modern days, lots of app have this kind of feature like uh, OTP will delete automatically. You don't, so user don't have to input the OTP manually and it's a really cool feature. So it's really good things to have this kind of features in your app. So today you are going to see how to implement this in React Native. So before jump into the code, I just like to thank uh, these two for buying me a coffee, uh, Shiv Kumar and this one doesn't mention his name, so I guess I can call him P. So thank you both of you uh, for buying me a coffee. Thank you so much. Uh, thank you for your contribution. And if you guys want to buy me a coffee, link in the description. And I noticed one thing that 90% of my viewers are not subscribed to my channel. Please make sure to subscribe. Uh, and give show your supports and if you uh, want to follow me on social media platform link in the description you can also follow developer since facebook page also link in the description and uh, let's jump in the code so i just make a multiple design screen a little bit try to make it look good but it's okay i guess we can work with <laughs> work with this so for getting this beautiful OTP field, I used this package and to get this kind of OTP field. So I just let me show you what I have done. So I'm just importing this uh, OTP input view and I'm just importing this and uh, just a button and change number and get OTP. In get OTP, we are calling an API to receive an OTP. Uh, receive an OTP, we're just calling an API in the backend and we're just storing the OTP in the state. So, what you need to do to automatically detect the OTP, you just need to install this package React Native OTP Verify and we just need to install this package. You don't need to add anything in Android folder, you just need to install this package and so i already installed this and you just need to also follow the yeah this page also link in the link over here i will attach this link of three these three packages and sorry two packages and this google documentation i will attach i will also attach the link in the description and it's about uh, how you can how you have to set up your sms body and the hash hash string we need so we need an hash string. So if you are using this, we are going to if we call this function, we are going to we are going to receive we are going to get a hash string, and this hash string is for like uh, whenever uh, suppose I have installed an app in my device. So whenever SMS is uh, whenever we are getting an incoming SMS, uh, so we we need to identify which SMS is for this app. So for identifying the SMS, we just need to need this hash key and uh, don't ch forget to change the hash key after uploading your app to play console. You can just simply look through this documentation. You guys can need to read this. Uh, you can read everything that Google mentioned over here. Just need, you need to call this command to get an hash string after uploading your app to play console. Just look through it before implementing this. So uh, we have installed this plugin. So we're going to just simply import this one. First, let me show you that I am receiving an OTP and it's not automatically detecting. So if I click on get OTP, we're receiving an OTP. So we are receiving an OTP and it's not automatically detecting the OTP. So for that we need to implement this RN OTP verify. So in, we imported this and we need to mention few more things. So we are going to use this for the hash key. I already added those hash key in my OTP platform. I'm just showing you. So first we added this, then we are going to show the rest. 
So, if we now see, we are getting an hash key inside an array. So, we need this hash string and you need to add this hash string after the after the SMS, after end of the SMS, suppose you have a, a SMS body like your OTP is 436 and so after this we need to, so let me copy this, after the end, you just need to add this in your SMS body. You can also check and in an existing app you are using that automatically detect the OTP. You can just simply view the SMS and I'm going to see an random code at the end. That's the hash string. So you just need to add this hash string in the, at the end. You can also see Google documentation over here. Yeah, this one. So this is the code and after that you just need to add this hash key. So this is our hash key and we are getting the hash key in the console as you saw new and we are just now going to set up a listener for our incoming SMS. So we are going to paste this one also and we are going to copy this function also. You just need to copy and paste everything, you don't need to really implement anything such big. So. And you also remove need to remove the listener after it's done. So for that, I'm using a functional component. So I have to do it. I have to implement this like this. But if you're using class component, you can simply implement this like this. So I'm just I need to explain everything. So this is for getting an hash key for debug right now. But after publishing an app to Play Store, you just need to change the hash string. And uh, we are setting a listener for, you can see also you are getting, calling a get OT function as setting a listener. So whenever uh, incoming SMS will arrive in your device, it will automatically detect, obviously based on the hash string. And so then we are re removing the listener after we exit this page and in listener we are just calling OTP handler. So OTP handler will detect the whole SMS. It will not detect the OTP, it will detect the whole SMS and using this functions and everything, we are extracting the OTP, the four digit OTP from the uh, SMS. So if this thing is not working for you, it might not work for you. I don't know, I'm not so sure, but it might, if this thing is not working for you, so you will get a SMS. Just, I'm going to show I'm just going to show you everything. So you will receive an SMS and after receiving the SMS, you have just, you just need to use substring and replace and everything to extract the OTP from that SMS. In my case, this thing is working. So it is going to also give a con console of this so right now if we implement this sorry. right now if we hit any any otp we're going to receive that message just let me show you everything if you click on get otp now we're going to receive the sms it will also extract the otp for us if you click on the SMS and get OTP, sorry, I forget to mention keyboard. Basically, you don't need keyboard, I guess. Just let me. So, uh, so here is, uh, we are receiving a whole SMS and after the end of the SMS, we are just adding the, we are just adding the hash key and it's also extracting the OTP, the 4 digit OTP, it's a static OTP for the time. You can simply dynamic it in the future uh, and just uh, make it static for testing purpose. And I'm just going, I'm, I'm also going to show you the message body that I receive in my device. So see at the end we have a hash key or hash string whatever you say. So we are getting this. So we are also receiving the 
OTP and uh, we are also able to extract the OTP from the SMS. So, we are receiving the SMS, detecting the SMS and we are also able to extract the OTP from the SMS and right now just what we need to do, we just need to simply set that to state and then it will automatically fill up the field. Mm, just we have a pin code for count 4 for the 4 boxes and we have OTP like OTP and here it is here whenever OTP length equals to 4 the bottom color will change to black right now it is gray. So, save everything and we are going to see a live demo. So, if we click on get OTP right now it will automatically detect the C it will automatically detecting the SMS and automatically uh, extracting the um, OTP from that SMS and just setting that to state and it is also fill up. So, you can simply verify now and after verifying you just need to add your own logic according to your app. So, we are successfully able to detect the SMS and extracting the OTP from the SMS. So, everything is working and do not forget to change uh, the hash string after uploading your app to play console and that is pretty much it I guess and I will also attach the link of this uh, beautiful react native OTP input package and react native OTP verify and also attach the link of uh, this documentation of, um, provided by Google. So, just a quick walk through again. So, we are just uh, calling an API to get an to receive an OTP and we are calling this function to get a hash key and we are setting a listener and we are just listening for the SMS and after listening uh, for the whole message we are extracting the OTP from the message using this and we are setting that to st uh, state and after that we are just removing the listener and uh, also dismissing the keyboard and also removing the listener in the usability transaction. So, that pretty much it everyone. So, if you like my content, please make sure to subscribe and uh, yeah, it is done everything is fine. So, thank you for your watching sorry, thank you for watching and uh, do not forget to subscribe and if you like my content you can buy me coffee link in the description and if you, you can also follow developer scenes uh, Facebook page link in the description everything every link is in the description you can also follow me on social media platforms and do not forget to subscribe I noticed 90 percent of my viewers are not subscribed to my channel please subscribe and make sure to press the bell icon so you will receive a notification for my future video. So, thank you for watching. See you in the next video and do not forget to mention the next topic. Bye-bye.